Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve knapsack problem using greedy method. Okay. So what is knapsack problem? So knapsack basically is a kind of container where we, uh, where, uh, where in which we want to uh, fill the items. So the scenario is something like that we have a container with us with a defined uh, ca capacity. It can only hold a different amount of items. We, so we have one container, we are calling it the knapsack and also we have some items that we can uh, keep into this knapsack. So our objective is we want to fill the knapsack in such a way so that we are able to carry the most precious item for us or the most valuable item for us. Now for knapsack, we have two uh, versions of knapsack problem. The first version is called a 01 knapsack. In 01 knapsack, we are given some items and these items are not uh, allowed to split. So let's say we have item number one, item number two, item number three. And uh, if we want to keep these items in the knapsack, then we are only allowed to keep the items in full. Means we either we can put the item in uh, in this knapsack or we are not keeping it. We are not able to uh, like keep the portion of it or a fraction of it. Either to keep it keep it incomplete or just uh, avoid that item. In the fractional knapsack, we have a option to to take the uh, the fraction of the item. In the greedy method, the approach is that we are solving the problem into stages, and at each stage, we have a number of choices to opt. So we opt the choice which has a minimum cost, and we believe that if we move in this fashion, then uh, the final cost is also minimum because we are uh, choosing the minimum cost at each stage. So uh, this is what we are doing here in the greedy approach. But the greedy approach does not guarantee to give you the optimal solution. So we have uh, certain problems are there which are solved by greedy approach and also uh, guarantee for the optimal solution. But all problems cannot be solved because the limitation of the greedy approach is once you have decided to move to the stage two or the step two, we do not uh, backtrack our decision. And sometimes we realize that uh, we have chosen a path which ultimately uh, leads to a kind of costly solution or maybe there is no solution. So here we will uh, use the greedy approach to solve the knapsack problem. But in general, knapsack problem cannot be solved optimally using greedy method. For finding the optimal solution for a knapsack problem, we can use dynamic programming. But if we are solving a fractional knapsack by greedy approach or by dynamic programming, in both the approaches, we are uh, guaranteed to get the optimal solution. But for 0, 01 knapsack, uh, greedy approach does not guarantee. You may get the best solution or you may not get. So let's uh, have a look. So how do we are going to proceed? So these are the steps that we are going to do. Uh, first, we find the ratio. So we are given the items. Items are having a weight. And also we have one knapsack. And as I told you that the objective is to keep the items in the knapsack because knapsack has a defined uh, kind of capacity. So we have to be like choosy among all the all the available items. We need to uh, choose the most precious or the most valuable item. So we will be going to uh, do the ratio of uh, value by weight. Means whatever the value of that item is given and the weight of the item uh, and the weight of that item is given to us. So we'll find the ratio. This ratio is basically indicating the the kind of preciousness means how precious, how the valuable the item for us. This is defined by this ratio. So first we find this ratio and then uh, after finding all the ratio, we will uh, sort the item basis on the ratio. Actually, we are sorting in the descending order. So we will be going to choose the one which is having the highest value. Okay, and then we choose the next one and we keep on doing until our knapsack allows us. Allows us means uh, we, we find that the knapsack capacity still allows us to keep more item into it. So let's uh, look to the question. Okay, so first we are going to uh, work on 0, 01 knapsack and then we will do the same problem with the uh, fractional knapsack. So in the 0, 01 knapsack, either you take the item or you cannot take the item. So here we have uh, some items are given to us. So we have five items with us and we are one knapsack whose capacity is 60 kg. And we are actually. Uh, like to uh, keep the items in such a way so that we can take the maximum value item in the 60 kg bag. The item value is also given to us. So 
we are going to first find the ratio so let us uh, let me write it here so we have items are here so i1 i2 i3 value given to us so value is uh, 30 20 similarly we have given the weight for these items so for this is 5 and this is 40 now we are going to find the ratio vyw so vyw when we find so 30 by 5 which is 6 20 by 10 is 2 and 160 by 40 is 4 so now we get this uh, ratio and now we will be sorting them or you can say we will pick the item which has the maximum value that is actually means this is the most precious item so this is going to be the first choice that is item one is most precious for us so we'll let me write it here this is our first choice let me write it here one we will choose this one then this will be our second choice this will be going to become our third choice then this is going to be a fourth choice and then this is the last choice if we still we have our capacity okay so let us see so i'm going to uh, use item number one so i choose item number one okay so when you choose item number one how much of it has already been uh, there so this is uh, five is already fixed in this so and keep in mind that we have 60 kg back so we cannot uh, keep more than 50 uh, 60 kg so uh, the first choice is one so this weight is five and then we uh, choose this one item number three so it's here the solution is given to you item number three and what is the uh, weight of this this is 100 sorry weight is 20 and then we are so we have chosen this we have chosen this and the third choice will be item number five so item number five if we choose then item number five has a weight 40 kg now also look here that 25 kg has already been filled here and we have 60 kg so how much we left with so 25 already there so we can only filled with 35 kg weight but i5 is actually 40 kg that means this item is not allowed and we cannot uh, keep a part a portion of it so we either we have to keep it full or we have to uh, just ignore it so we are not going to take this item then we go to the next uh, choice we have that is item number four so we have chosen item number four whose capacity uh, whose weight is 30. so this makes 55 kg and then still we have 5 kg remaining so we go for the next and the next is uh, the item number uh, 2 is there but whose weight is 20, 10 so uh, we are we are not, not uh, have a choice to you know uh, pick this item so finally we are ending up with this uh, i1 i3 and i i4 as our solution and we have only uh, filled with 55 and what is the gain that we get so gain you can see means the value of this is so you can see here the value for 5 is 30 uh, sorry the the value for item 1 is 30 yes this is 30 plus then we have chosen which item we have chosen uh, item number uh, uh, 3 which value is 100 and then we have chosen item number 4 whose value is 90 so if you add all these so what we get this is 90, uh, 100 plus 90, 190 plus 30. So 190 plus 30 is 220. So is this the best solution? Actually, this is not the best solution. We could, we would have fine with this one, I3 and I5. Because if you look at I3 and I5, so I3 is this, I5 is this. So we look to the weight, 40 plus 20. This is 60. Still, we are uh, fulfilling the requirement. And the, the value that we got is 100 and 160 so this makes 260 which is better than 220 so here we are finding a solution the solution exists but this is not the optimal solution and this is the drawback of the greedy approach that uh, to some problems we are not actually getting the best solution there are certain problems which are solved by a greedy approach and they always give you the best solution like the finding the minimum spanning tree this is also solved by a greedy approach and you always get the optimal solution similarly we have uh, a problem called single source sorted path where we want to find the sorted distance from one node to every other node this is also solved by the greedy approach and we always find the optimal solution so this is the drawback that we have seen so here we have learned how to find the solution 
or zero one lap cycle using DD approach. And also we have noticed that this solution is not optimal. Now let us uh, see the other version of this uh, 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 problem that is a fractional lap cycle. Okay, this is a fractional lap So we are solving the same problem uh, with the fractional lap uh, scenario means we are allowed to take a portion of the item. So, so we have items, let me do it here. Items, we are having items. We have weight, we have value. So we have item number one, item number two, and 4116. So it's already given here. So we will find the, the ratio that basically tells us the kind of preciousness of the item. So we'll do uh, value upon weight. So 30 by 5, 6, 3, and 160 by 40 equals to 4. So we already uh, know that this is our first choice. This is our second choice. And we know how we find the, the, the choice built on the this ratio value. And this is the fourth choice. And this is fifth choice okay so let us again do in the same way and then also we will see the difference so the first choice is this so we decided to take item number one okay and item number one we have chosen and the weight for this item is uh 5 kg that means still uh, we can insert any item of 55 kg up to 55 kg okay then look to the second choice so second choice is this one which is item number three so item number three, this is uh, weight is 20. So, so far 25 has been used. Now we will go to the third choice. So third choice is this item number five. Item number five, item number five is 40 kg. Now this is something which is not to be uh, taken completely because this, our knapsack does not allow us. So already we have taken 25 kgs are only in the back. And now we, we can only take 35. So what we can do, out of this 40 kg, we are going to take 35 of it. Means we will take a portion of it, that, and that is 35 kg out of 40. Because we know that this is the most precious item uh, to be taken out of the other available items. So we will take item number 5 and we take 35. So what is the value that we obtained? So now we can see here, we have chosen item number 1. Item number one is this one, and for this, the value is 30. Then we have chosen item number three. Item number three is 100, so we, the value is 100. And then we have chosen item number five, whose value is 160 if we would have taken the entire 40. So, so we can just find out. So, for 40 kg, the value is 160. So, what is the value for 35 kg? So, we can do here for value for 35 kg is this is find out 160 by 40 into 35 this comes out to be uh, 140 so you can write here 140 so now we can add this so 30 plus 100 130 130 plus 140 that is 270 so in here we have seen that this is the best uh, that you can get there is no other combination you can just check yourself and see is there any possible combination of the items that can give you value more than 270? It's not actually available. This is the best uh, that we can get. So to conclude, we can say that if you want to uh, find the optimal or the best solution uh, of a knapsack using greedy approach, then it is to be achieved only for fractional knapsack. So I hope you understood how to find the knapsack solution using greedy approach. And this is all for this lecture. Thank you.